Hi yogis, I'm Lindsay Samper and I have a nice yoga routine for weight loss. So yoga really helps with losing weight because it helps to regulate your hormones. And your hormones are really important for having good, uh, even metabolism. So we'll do some poses that'll help strengthen your muscles and we'll do some poses that are gonna help with your thyroid, which is an important gland for regulating your hormones. So let's begin. We're gonna start in child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch and take your knees apart and let the hips sink back and reach the arms up over the head and let the forehead sink down to the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out completely. Take another deep breath in. And exhale out. Staying in child's pose, walk your hands over to the right side and stack your left hand on top of your right, just coming into a side stretch in your child's pose. Deep breath in, feel the whole left side of your body expand. Exhale out. Walk your hands back to center and slowly walk your hands to the left side, stacking the right hand on top of the left. Again, nice deep breath in. Exhale out. And then slowly walk your hands back to center. On your inhale, come all the way up to a tabletop. So coming into all fours with your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over your knees. Cat cow, on your inhale, drop your belly down, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, then drop the head down. Inhale again, drop the belly down, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, curl the tailbone under, round and arch the back. Last one, inhale, cat excuse me, cow, exhale, cat pose. Then coming to a neutral spine, walk your hands a little bit forward. And we're gonna do a few push-ups here. Spread your fingers really wide, shift your hips forward just like this, and on your exhale, bend your elbows and lower halfway down and then press back up. Do that a few more times. And as you lower down, keep your elbows close to your body. And again, as you low down, lower down, keep your shoulder blades squeezing together. That'll keep your shoulders lifted up away from the floor. See if you can do two more. Inhaling to rise up, exhaling to lower. And then press back up, tuck your toes, lift your knees, come into plank pose just for a moment. So make the tops of your thighs really strong, draw your belly in towards your spine, press the ground away from you with your hands. Then lower down to the knees, lower all the way down to the belly. Keep your hands where they are, forehead can come to the earth. On your inhale, lift up into cobra pose. So use the muscles of your upper back to lift your body up. So I'm not pressing my hands into the floor. They're just there for support. Squeeze the elbows together, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then lower the head back down. Do that two more times. Inhale to lift, elbows squeezing to the body. Exhale, lower down. Last one, inhale, lift. Really lift up nice and tall. Exhale, lower back down. Then press up and come into tabletop again. Come up onto your fingertips with your fingers spread really wide. And then press your palm back down on the earth. So now your fingers are spread really, really wide. That'll help protect your wrists. Take your knees back a little bit. Tuck your toes, send your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Keep your feet about shoulders distance apart. You can have a nice bend in your knees if you need. Press your chest back toward your thighs. Let your head and neck relax down completely. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale out. One more deep breath in. Exhaling out. Take the knees down to the floor. Step your right foot forward and tuck your back toes, lift your back knee off of the floor. Come up onto your fingertips, being strong in the feet, walk your hands to your thighs, reach the arms up, coming into a high lunge. Take up a lot of space on your mat. Make sure that your right knee is over the right ankle. And then lower the back knee down halfway, and then stretch it back out. Lower it down again. Inhale, stretch it back out. Three more, exhale, lowering halfway, inhale, reaching back. Two more, exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhaling, lower down. 
Inhale, lift, and really tighten the top of your thigh. Squeeze your left glute, activate the back leg. Then shift your weight forward, reach your arms forward, and then come back, bend the elbows, open up the chest. Do that again. Stretch forward, reach forward, and then come back, bend the elbows, open up the chest. Last time, reach the arms forward, and then come back, bend the elbows, lift the chest up. Then reach the arms forward again, and step the left foot forward, coming into chair pose at the top of the mat. A Little bit of space in between the knees and the feet. Sitting down nice and low, draw the belly in. If you tend to stick your booty out a lot, kind of tuck it in a little bit. Draw the belly in. Weight is in the heels. Good, and then exhale, hands come down to the floor. Forward fold. Keep a bend in your knees at first. Make sure your belly connects with your thigh, and then let your head and neck drop down completely. Let it go. You can even interlace your fingers, place them on the base of the skull and just let gravity do its thing, creating some traction in your neck. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. Take the hands to the floor, step back into your plank pose, and then lower down to the knees, lower the belly down to the floor, keep the elbows close to the body. Inhale, lift up cobra. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Come back down to the knees. Step the left foot forward this time. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee off of the floor, coming into a lunge. Slowly walk your hands up your left thigh, and then reach both arms up towards the ceiling. And then slowly lower the back knee halfway down, and then inhale, stretch it back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Three more, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Last one. Exhale, lower halfway down. And then stretch through the back leg. So top of the back thigh is strong. Right glute is activated. Take a deep breath in and then shift forward. Arms reaching forward. And then take everything back. Bend at the elbows. Lift the chest up. Do that again. Reach forward. Lean forward. And then lean back. Open up the chest. Bend the elbows. Last time. Reach the arms forward, and then open up the chest. Good, reach the arms up again. Shift your weight into your left leg. Step the right foot forward, chair pose. Just for a moment, belly drawing in, chest lifting up towards the ceiling, pulling the arms back by the ears. If that's too much for the shoulders, take the hands at heart center. Good, exhale, lower down. Forward fold. Again, with forward folds, it's more important that your belly is connected to your thighs. So if you find yourself kind of like this, just bend your knees until your hands touch the floor. It's more important right now that we're getting length in the spine versus touching the toes. One more deep breath in here. Exhale out. Inhale, lift up halfway. Press your hands into your shins. Look forward, draw the shoulders down the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take your feet wide, almost as wide as the mat. Toes pointed towards the front of the mat. Reach the arms in front and we'll squat down. So lean the hips back, squatting down nice and low. Inhale, reach the arms up. Do that again, exhale, lowering. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach up. Exhale, sit down low. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, you got two more. Exhaling, sitting down low. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, good. Exhale, hands to heart center. Come into a wide stance on your mat. So take up a lot of space. Turn the toes slightly in so that the outer edges of the feet are parallel to the outer edges of the mat. Turn the right toes towards the front of the room. Reach the arms out. And then bend the right knee coming into warrior two. Making sure that your right knee is on top of the ankle and not in front. And really press through the outer part of the left foot. Reach the arms in both directions. 
And then flip the right palm up, inhale, reverse back. So reach your arm up and back. On the exhale, right elbow to right thigh, left arm reaches over, side angle. Do that again, inhale, reaching back. Exhale, forward. Last one, inhale, reach back. Keep the bend in the right knee. Exhale, forward, side angle. Good, inhale, come back up, straighten the right leg. Point the toes in. Turn the left toes out to the side, same thing, warrior two, so start to bend in your left leg. Making sure that you can see your big left toe. Reach the arms strongly in both directions. Draw the shoulder blades together. Flip the left palm up, inhale, reverse back. Exhale, side angle, elbow to the thigh, right arm reaching over. Inhale, reverse back. Exhale, side angle. Last one, inhale, reverse back. Exhale, side angle. Good, inhale, come back up. Take the hands to the hips, straighten your left leg. Toe, heel your feet together. And step forward to the front of the mat. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Belly to the thighs, head and neck relaxes down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Press your hands into your shins. Flatten your back. Reach your chest forward. Pull your shoulders down your back. Exhale, fold. Step back into plank pose and hold your plank pose just for a moment. Remembering to keep the fingers spread nice and wide, pressing down through the whole palm. And then come down to your forearms. Try to keep your forearms parallel to each other. If you have shoulder issues, then you can certainly bring hands together making a fist. So pull the belly in and make the tops of your thighs really strong and active. That way your legs are doing a lot of the work here too. This is one of the best overall body um, poses that you can be in. Good, then come down to the knees and come up onto the knees. We'll take camel pose. Knees come about hip distance apart. Take the hands back behind you on your lower back. Squeeze the elbows together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hips come forward. Lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Keep squeezing the elbows together and keep squeezing your shoulder blades together. Maybe you can lift your chest up and look back. But it's important that as you look back, that you don't just dump into your neck. Use the muscles of the front of your neck to keep it nice and active as you lift the chin up towards the ceiling. This one is particularly good for your thyroid. Good, slowly come up, sit back on your heels. Take just a breath. We'll do that again. Slowly come back up onto your knees. Knees hip distance apart. Hands come to the low back. Again, squeezing the elbows together, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Let the hips come forward and lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Lift your gaze up. If it strains your neck, then don't worry about it. Keep your chin towards your chest. But if you can, lift your chin up towards the ceiling, keeping the neck nice and active. Keep squeezing elbows together. Keep breathing. And then slowly lower hips down to the heels. Good, we'll press back into child's pose, but move slowly. Every, anytime we go from a back bend to a forward fold, we wanna move slowly. So very nice, mindfully send the hips back. Take the forehead down to the earth, reach the arms forward. Take three breaths right here, inhaling through the nose, Exhaling through the nose. See if you can make your exhales longer than your inhales. By doing that, you help to slow your heart rate down. You help to, to activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for rest, relaxation. It's the opposite of your fight or flight response. So training the body to lower the stress levels will greatly enhance your metabolism. 
Take one more deep breath in. Exhale out completely. Shift forward, coming onto hands and knees, and then come into a seated position with your feet in front, knees bent, and take your hands back behind you with your fingers facing your feet. Press your hands into the earth and straighten the arms and lift the chest up toward the ceiling. Stay here for just a moment. So keep pressing your hands into the ground and keep lifting your chest up. If this is more than enough for your shoulders, then stay here. If you can, press your feet into the earth and lift your hips up, coming into a reverse table. You can keep your chin toward your chest right here. Press your feet into the earth to lift the hips a little higher and then lower the hips down to the earth. Do that again. Inhale, lift the hips up. This time, see if you can shift your weight into your left leg, lift your right leg up. Press your left foot down to lift your hips a little higher and then set the right foot back down. Other side, lifting the left foot up, press your right foot into the ground. You really have to activate your hamstrings here and then lower the left foot down to the earth and then lower the hips down to the earth. Scooch to the front of your mat and with your knees bent and your arms in front, see how slow you can start to lower all the way down to the floor. Go nice and slow. It's a nice workout for your core. And you'll notice often that there's gonna be moments where you kind of speed through a movement, and that's normal. As your core becomes stronger, the movement will be a lot smoother. So coming down onto your back, bend your knees, and walk your feet in close to your body. And look around, take a peek at your feet. If your toes are turned out, turn them in. The outer edges of your feet should be parallel to the outer edges of your mat. The arms resting down by the side. Press your feet into the earth. Lift your hips up and lift up one vertebrae at a time all the way up. Hips coming high. Squeeze your knees together just a little bit. They like to splay open here. And then on your next exhale, lower down one vertebrae at a time all the way back down. We'll do that again. Press your feet into the earth. Tuck your tailbone. Lift up one vertebrae at a time all the way up. Keep pressing your feet into the earth. Keep pressing the knees towards each other. And then lower yourself all the way back down. We'll do that one last time and we'll hold. So again, inhale, tuck the tailbone, lift up. This time, as you come all the way up, lift your left side up and roll the left shoulder underneath the body. You do the same on the other side. So maybe the palms lift up towards the ceiling. That way you're placing the weight on your shoulders instead of your neck. Keep pressing the feet into the earth, lifting the hips up, and keep gently squeezing your knees together. And breathe. As you look at your belly, you should be able to see your belly expand with each inhalation. This is another one that's really good for stimulating your thyroid. One more deep breath in. And then on your exhale, slowly roll out one vertebrae at a time. Coming all the way down. Take your arms out to the side in a T. Keep your feet where they are on your exhale. Lower the knees over to the left side for a gentle twist. Inhale, bring them back up. Exhale, over to the right side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, over to the left side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, back up. Do that two more times on each side. Let the length of your inhale and the length of your exhale determine how long it takes you to make the movement. By connecting our movement with our breath, we become more mindful of the present moment. We become more mindful of our bodies. Slowly bring the legs back to center. Extend the legs out along the mat. Arms resting down by the side. Close the eyes down. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. This time, take a deep breath in. Just when you think you've inhaled all you can, try to sip in a little more air and then exhale completely. Just when you think you've exhaled all you can, try to squeeze out a little more air and start to breathe normally. With each exhalation, see if your body can get a little heavier. 
relax your face, relax your jaw, your tongue, your throat, the skin around your eyes. See where else you might be holding tension. With each exhale, see if you can release it. You can stay here for as long as you'd like. Three to five minutes is a great time to be here. Whenever you are ready, you can roll over to your side. With the knees bent, tucked in close to the body, press your hand into the earth and come all the way up to a seated. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I would love to hear your feedback on how this worked for you. If you'd like to learn more about me, you can check out my website at lindsaystamper.com and please subscribe to Psyche Truth where you can see lots of great videos just like this. Thank you. Namaste.